Oh my goodness, dude. Yet again. Ah, team one. You guys are going to have to shackle Griffin, put him in the back of the line, man. This guy's been able to play a ton tonight. Sap until Fassel. Gouge after the main pets. Got us out Dark Fact. I don't even know if it'll be enough. Fassel did end up having himself a kill versus Grifka. It's just the rogues have been an absolute menace this week against all of the competitors. Grifka taking a bit of damage in the opening here. They got himself evasion. Trying to see if he can outrun the pets. Gonna be a shadow meld as the tyrant is about to come out. Fassel actually delays the tyrant for a little bit later. But Grifka does get himself yet another one of those rogue escapes. Evasion shadow blades have been used, but it won't be waiting long before all those things are back up and running. That's himself a proper go versus Fassel. Dark back to the radio no longer has a wall, so actually Fassel is kind of spent versus his rogue. He's trying to see if he can find it. The other dark back barely does anything. Does get himself a quick cast. Griffith wasn't able to interrupt it properly. Fassel had no help whatsoever, and that just goes down to an eviscerate, just slamming him down, not giving him even a chance. Calvin joining back in. Calvin, which is Kreiser on an alt and this guy's playing demonology hold on a second what kind of a timeline is this calvin is not a destro warlock oh this is a cursed timeline i don't like this anymore i usually used to cry it being a destro maniac but i guess destro compared to demo demo is a little bit stronger in pvp right now isn't it but I think Grifka is not to be deterred into a board by calvin out in the open at least if anything uh Chrysler can put a pets onto Grifka and just gotta run away in the other direction. Is gonna try to go for a bit of a vile fin. Gowage instead. Griffin does he have some proper go. At least got a dot onto Calvin. Got himself a second pet. Join them with the third set of pets. Stun. Wayne taking him out right here. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Griffin does he have dots? I don't know if he has dots or not. Looks like he's clean. No, some kind of a dot is on him. As long as you can get him back in combat. Soon into a shadow we duel. Wall for Calvin. Try to see if he can tank this up. The pets may just be able to take down Grifka's secret technique into a blind right after. Does get himself a little bit of a heal. I think maybe a warlock helps him for Miko too, which is quite unfortunate. Axe toss. Then it's going to be the pets trying to swing around the corner. Board by Calvin. More close and then Grifka has himself a trinket. At least the main pets are attacking him as well as one of the imps. If you just get the Wrathguard to do enough damage, you might be okay. But an evasion just for the Wrathguard has himself a vanish in case he needs to. Does he just go for a vanish? He may just want to. Honestly, it gives us a cooldown reduction here. Evasion to follow. Sip pick up, vanish, sip pick up, maybe. Potentially does go in for a vanish after he has himself a bit of a go versus Calvin. No dots on the Grifka. And for Calvin, at least he has the eyes going back up little by little. Sip pick up by the rogue. My goodness. I never. Honestly, I'm so used to demonology versus rogue. Like Demo usually just dominates rogues like this. But man, that survivability with them vanishes is just nutty. Stun onto Grifka. Full pets are up with the Wabas to follow. It does get himself a port, just letting the pets kite after Grifka. You gotta make sure you gotta get the curse of exhaustion on him to make it harder for him to escape. Tyrant joined it as well into his shadow mill. The tyrant at least knows exactly where you're at. The tyrant knows exactly where you are, sending the pets in the direction. Wait a second, he's actually sending the pets in with him. Stun? No, it doesn't quite connect, but the pets were next to him for just a second. <laughs> Almost like they knew <laughs> the we're anticipating where he's gonna go. Invasion available, trinket back up, got himself dances and everything available. Secret technique of shadowy duel immediately in the opener. I think Calvin got nothing left. And then Crazy goes down, maybe. Yeah. Oh, trinket's out of it, taking him out. My goodness. Oh my man. This is just this is rough. One somebody gonna be up next. Swapping out to assassination versus Grifka instead, actually. This is trying to get himself a proper go. Evasion up for Grifka. Kidna shot onto the rogue as Bonsamdi trying to see if he can maybe turn this around. Grifka instead goes in for a kidna shot of his own. Off of that evasion. Does Bonsamdi have enough here to... Because he just needs to get some dots on Grifka and then he should be able to take him out. Just barely any health left. He doesn't have cheap death or nothing. Dance. Cheap shot. I think the dots are going to do him in. Bonsamdi does end up trinketing there at the end. I don't really know if he needed to. But yeah, that's rough. Kiosk go up next, trying to see if he can have himself proper go. Rush is bomb some. Where's the bomb some D? I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> Seven minutes into the duel. Dampen is kind of high. So for Kiosk, maybe he can go for like Bird's Ghost here, but it's going to be rough. It is an assassin's rogue. Still holding on to a death mark. So if Kiosk has himself the uh, Mending Benedict, he might be okay for it. Got himself a freezing trap for Bon Samdi. He doesn't want to walk over it as best as he can. He doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. <laughs> He more or less knew that it was there. Many benefits for just a second. Got himself explosive. Stun. Death shock him. Yeah, big damage, but only for Kiosko. Massive setup for some Bonsamdi. Could have himself a proper go. That's gonna be a rogue. Still has a death mark. Death shock him on him. Doing some damage to him. Still putting him out in the open. Harpoon right after. Does he have kill shot? Got himself Hunter's Mark. Pets should be on him. At least keep him in combat. 
And I think one time you should be able to go for a proper kidney shot after this one. Kiosku needs to go for Manic Benedges as soon as possible. Definitely needs to remove the dots as soon as he can. Manic Benedges, death mark removed. Bonsam did no help whatsoever. Ready to go for a big eviscerate. Next, if he moves anyway, he's gonna get stunned. There goes a grenade, kill shot. Oh, taking him out. It's just a lot of explosive damage all at once. With Jayhawk gonna be up next. We're on team two. Trying to see if we can catch up to Kiosk. We're looking for a big arcane surge, but Kiosk can try to find himself some cover. Goes in for a bit of a reset as Jayhawk trying to get him out in the open, but Kiosk have already fled the scene of the crime. At this point, for Jayhawk, it might be more advantageous to just pick up eyes. To get Kioska out in the open before Kioska's cooldowns come start coming back up. But actually, look at a Kiosko, he didn't use a lot of defenses versus the rogue head just to hold them until a little bit later. My goodness. Even Kryzen wasn't enough Jesus. That's what I'm saying. Like at this point, like this is Christ bad we're talking about, right? This is the boy. It plain demonology, which is supposedly the better spec for PvP right now. And even then, like a rogue is just it's just ridiculously strong. You know? This is why I'm like, man, maybe we should, because before we ban rogues for like at least a night, maybe we should do that tonight as well. Just so everybody else has a chance to play. Again, it just does not feel like there's a lot of counters. Big death shock him onto Jayhawk. Got himself a little bit of temporal mad damage from a distance. As Kioska just trying to see if he can range the guy from afar. Jayhawk lagging a little bit, but it looks like it does end up going for invis for a moment. Flare down for Kioska, trying to see if he can catch up to Jayhawk. Did he hit F by chance? I might have actually just hit F there for a second. Trying to go for an interrupt? No, Isaac Black instead. My goodness. Kaskum, I think should be able to finish it off. If he goes really, really careful here, he may have cooldowns even going into Ev Evrin? Evrin. I think it's Evrin. Evrin? Is that H at the end? Okay, I can't even tell. Gonna be supposed to shot. Maybe enough damage here. Grenades to follow. Big setup. No, it looks supposed to shot now. Boom. Oh, kill shot to fall. There it goes. My goodness. I guess I got my um, spell effects wrong. For some reason, I thought that was explosive, but no, it was a chimeric poison instead. Stun onto Ab before he can get himself a proper go. This is going to be Death Shot. Come on to Evren. Does go in for a stun next to Kiaska. Big Dark Ascension. Freezing Trap immediately off that fear. It's going to be a trick out of the Shadow Priest. Either way, though, Kiaska got himself survival of the fittest, or at least the, uh, what is it, the Fortitude of the Bear to give himself a little bit more health. Trying to see if he can dip around the corners with them grenades and kill shots versus Evren. As best as he can. As the man try to charge out towards Kioska, can he get a good angle? Does get a root onto the pet. But if he goes anywhere, if he walks anywhere, he is gonna get stunned up. He's got a limited of where he can go. Does get hit with an interrupt. Trying to walk away. Is gonna be stunned right after Kioska charges back in there for a bit of a uh, flanking strike. But backs out in order to make sure there's no dots on him. If you can play around the dots of Evren, just go in for hit and runs, go in, do as much damage, back up, and just go in for, you know, just reset without before any dots attack him. He's in a great spot since everyone does not play the Shadow Crash ability. Does go for an interrupt. Everyone might be in a bad spot. Big kill shots to follow. He's going to be silenced right after. Trying to see if he can stay on him as best as possible. This way, Kaska with the Death Shocker. May just have him right now. Stunned right after. Into Explosive Shot. Oh, it didn't even need it. But he had the Explosive Shot ready to go in case he needed a little bit extra oomph afterwards. With Kaska taking back three over for his team after Grifka has just absolutely terrorized the entire enemy team with the Morlocks, man. My goodness. Let's get us another going here, boys, yeah?